Hi, I'm Rogero from One Foot in the Dough, and today we are reviewing yet another amazing piece of acting in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yes, yes we are. Now, before we start, I'd like to say a big thank you to whoever shared my previous video on Buffy. Uh, that video blew up in views, I got a ton, and so thank you. And I've seen that a lot of them come from an outside source, but I haven't been able to find where. So I believe someone must have shared that video somewhere. So thank you very much. Please do get in touch. I'd like to say thank you directly uh, if you if you want. So why am I making this second video on Buffy? Not just to shamelessly hope that people will share it again. I'll get a lot of views. Yes, I am hoping that will happen, but not just that. Now, when I decided to make a video on Buffy, uh, I had these two choices. I had the one that I did review and today's video, which is about an, uh, ep an episode which I believe is the absolute best in the whole of Buffy, which is the body. Now, heavy spoilers ahead, okay? If you if you want to watch Buffy, which I do recommend, uh, I'm gonna spoiler something very important that happens, okay? Uh, so, that being said, let's let's start. And the, the actress is still Sarah Michelle Gellar, so the, the protagonist, Buffy herself. And Sarah Michelle Gellar is really, really good at pain and emotionality, showing us true, honest, realistic pain. And I know this might sound weird because Buffy is really not the one place we go to when we think emotionality on film, right? Like if we if we think deep pain, serious emotions, we think different movies. We usually think movies, not TV series, and we think bigger actors. Sarah Michelle Gala is incredible at doing this and I will show you why okay uh, I want to start with showing you a little thing also about the directing by Joss Whedon and, and the editing because it is incredible this is an episode which is completely different than the whole rest of the series and I do believe you might actually just watch it uh, if you want to on its own even if you haven't seen the whole thing of course, it's better if you've seen everything, so you're emotionally invested in these characters, so when something horrible happens, you feel it. But even if you haven't, I think you'll feel it too, because, it, at least a little bit, because of the amazing work Whedon does in really recreating the feeling of finding someone you love dead. And that's what this is about, okay? The, the episode starts with Buffy coming home and finding her mother dead. And the genius is that in a series about monsters and vampires and all that, she's dead because of an aneurysm. That's it. And that's way scarier than any monster we ever see in this series because it's real. And because the finality of it is 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 real. It's scary because it is something that can and does unfortunately happen to a lot of people, could happen to anyone. And the way he creates what happens right after, which is what this episode is about, is unbelievable. So, uh, the episode starts with Buffy coming home and finding her mother dead. And then we cut to the opening sequence. And then right after the opening sequence, we go into basically a memory. We see a happy time where they were all together, all the, the gang and stuff, and they were celebrating uh, Thanksgiving, I think. Um, and I want to start from that just because I want to point out an amazing thing that they do with the editing. Okay, so let's start watching. You know, it's, it's Cajun pie. Should I open another? No, do you think we dare? Uh, as long as you two stay away from the band candy, I'm cool with anything. <coughs> you are a demon child. I live to torment you. Is that so wrong? A daughter's duty, I suppose. <laughs> Look, all we have to do is just cut off a little bit of the burnt... <laughs> that cut. That cut is heartbreakingly amazing. It just goes from this happy, nice memory suddenly to the reality of what has happened and the finality of it. That's amazing filmmaking right there. Mom, 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 mom! Okay, 
what I want to point out here is that this is one take and you'll see how long it is and keeping that level of emotionality in one take is extremely hard okay let's keep watching hello it's my mom she's she's not breathing is she conscious no i i i can't she, she's not breathing okay i need you to give me your address what I'm gonna send an ambulance over. Let's see, 1630 Ravello. It's a house, Ravello, near Hadley. I'm sending a unit right away. Are you alone in the house? Yes. And did you see what happened? Did you fall? No, no. I, I came home and she... Well, what should I do? Do you know how to administer CPR? No, I don't remember. Okay. That no, I don't remember breaks me every time. You want to tilt your mother's head back. Cover her mouth with yours and breathe into her mouth. Two ventilations. I know this. I know this. I can do this. I can do this. Okay. 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 Quick shout out to Christine Sutherland who plays uh, Joyce, the mother, uh, to be that still and that believably dead is very hard. So don't this it and this is pretty good. Eight. Now, keep in mind here that this is a steady cam shot. That means running around behind the camera, we have at least three people. There's a cameraman with the big camera and the steady cam. There's a focus puller who's making sure that she's in focus. And there's a sound guy running around with the boom and making sure that we can hear what they're saying. That's even without considering possible extra people that might be there with reflectors or with flags or with whatever else, okay? So she's not alone while she's doing this. There's this whole group of people going around, okay? Again, that's hard. Moment. You might have cracked a rib. It's not important. She's cold. The body is cold? No, my mom! Sh should I make her warm? No, if she's not responding to the CPR, best thing is to wait for the paramedics, okay? When will they be here? They're very nearby. You just stay calm. When the paramedics arrive, try to get to the I have to make a call. And that's the first cut in this in this sequence. Obviously, the scene uh, keeps going on, and it's it's still amazing. But after this, we get to more normal coverage. Uh, I wanted to point out this particular sequence here because it's one long take. Just so you know, when you do a steadicam shot like that, the actor has to be extremely precise with where they are, where they're going, because they need to make sure that the camera can always see them. So even though Sarah Michelle Gellar is so emotional at that point, she also needs to be extremely in control of where she goes, how fast she walks, and that she's hitting the right spots because they will have pre-planned all of this so that the focus puller has a reference point in the, on his device, okay, to keep to keep Sarah Michelle Gala in focus, right? So she needs to be hitting all those very precise marks. She can't just because she's feeling it suddenly move faster or go out of frame or stand up or sit down. No, she needs to be extremely precise with every single movement she makes, as well as keeping up that level of emotionality without breaking, without 
forgetting her lines without anything. That's really, really hard. Okay, that is extremely hard to do. Also because she's not she's not overdoing it, as in we can see the panic, we can see, and even just that first scream when she screams, mom, it sounds stupid, but I, that already requires a heightened level of true emotions. By true, I don't mean based on anything real. Again, I don't know if Sarah Michelle Gala uses method acting. I don't know what kind of method she uses, okay? And it doesn't matter. But what she does when she screams that, it comes across as real. And then she goes from that heightened screaming thing to a more contained moment when she needs to deal with the situation. And at the same time, she has this huge emotionality which makes her voice break. And, and it's totally believable, it's totally relatable. And I think it's a fantastic piece of acting. That level of precision and emotionality is extremely hard to do. Trust me on this. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe and ring the bell to get notified when I post a new video. Uh, let me know what, what you think in the comments below and if you have any other recommendations for great moments of acting in TV series or films, write them down as well. Thank you very much. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.